recently the Taliban spokespeople have been saying that they're going to be, you know, basically relying on China or the Chinese Communist Party for funding and basically, you know, fueling a kind of economic comeback. The Chinese are welcome to it. Every cent they spend in Afghanistan will be wasted. If they want to spend and put their belt and road through there, I, I think we should rejoice in that. It is, it's not a graveyard of empires. It's just a waste of great power's attention. And, um, uh, and I'm not one of those who's concerned about the money they're pouring into Africa. In the end, they're going to lose all of that, too. Uh, the, the, in, in the end, the Africans will, will, will take over all the assets the Chinese have built for them. The whole Chinese expansionist influence building plan is nonsense, and, and I, I feel about it the way I did when I when they said they were going to build a catamaran aircraft carrier. It was an insane concept, and they've done it uh, when it got into heavy weather out in the far Pacific. Uh, it, 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 it would have disintegrated. You, you can't build an aircraft carrier as a catamaran. Well, I, I think the Chinese are are embarking in areas where they're not familiar, and they don't realize how easily local national sentiment can arise, gain support from rivals to the country they are then objecting to, namely China in this scenario, and sort of scorch the fingers of an outreaching China. As a plan of expansion of Chinese influence, I think the whole thing is nonsense. Let them get on with it. Uh, I, th I think they would principally, ultimately, if the West, and especially the Americans, played their cards right, promote what we want, which is for the Russians to determine that they are a Western and not an Eastern-facing country. That, in my is is the key in this whole thing. The only danger to us from Russia is if, as the Democrats would be apt to do, we rebuffed them so contemptuously, we, the West, that we, we drove them into the arms of the Chinese. That would be a strategic uh, misstep of very serious implications. But as long as uh, we're reasonably respectful of the traditional Russian nationalism that's been either part of the West or coexisted with the West for really since Peter the Great's time, except for part of the communist era, uh, then then I, I, I that's what that's what we should be playing for. For China, you know, obviously it has to be treated with respect. But if they start to um, if they start to become overbearing, seriously overbearing with other countries, we should support those countries. Uh, China is not strong enough to challenge the world. It's not really strong enough to challenge the United States if the United States plays its diplomatic cards properly. At this moment, you know, given the current reality, what would your suggestions be to, for the U.S. going forward? Well, I'm one of the last people that this administration would ask advice from. But uh, I, 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 look, I thought that apart from the stylistic infelicities, Trump was playing it well. He was right to call the world's attention to the Chinese threat, but in a responsible way, not a McCarthyite demagogic way. Uh, and certainly not a racist way, although he is sometimes accused of that falsely. Uh, I, I thought he was he was right to build up the military, though he should have been quicker to. Uh, it was the the admirals who failed him here, but he was the commander in chief to, to make sure that the, the aircraft carrier groups were better defended. I mean, they they and, and the. Some of the bases like Guam were better defended against potential attack from China. Uh, that, but that can be made up. That's just a question of money. But, but I, he, he, he was right in trying to kick NATO into shape and telling everyone to pay up more. Uh, but uh, I think just a return to essentially Trump's policy, but, but with a, a much more diplomatic presentation of much more uh, sophisticated and, and conciliatory presentation of it. That's what should be done. I mean, then your, your, your core is strengthen the alliance. I would, I'd say broaden it. I mean, put the, the alliances in the Far East and in the North Atlantic and across the Mediterranean, put them all together. Make, you know, make one mighty alliance of democratic states. 
force and have a very revitalizing impact on world affairs, I think. Um, and, uh, and, and avoid, obviously avoid jingoism, unnecessarily belligerent comment, but leave no one in any doubt that the defined interest of the democratic world will be defended, will be effectively and forcefully defended. Goodwill to everyone, uh, malice to no one, but we will we'll hold our own.